Your videos are not great. They're not even good. The harsh truth is your videos suck. It's okay because the first step is acceptance. I'm going to explain to you what you can do to turn your bad videos into good videos. Also give you the seven tips that you can use today to drastically improve your video quality. Before we start making your videos good, we have to understand what makes a good video. Videos have one main purpose, and that is to communicate. Funny videos, serious documentaries, or even YouTube tutorials all have the main objective of communicating. So in order to make a good video, you have to communicate effectively. But first, you must understand the goal of your specific video. What's the purpose? So what is the goal or purpose of your specific video? It can be anything as simple as wanting to entertain or wanting to inform people on new news. But you want to be very specific on what your goal is. Don't just say, oh, I want to entertain entertain, maybe you want to entertain by making funny videos so people can laugh. Once you understand your video's goal, then you can develop a path to get to that goal. James Clear writes in the book of Atomic Habits, successful and unsuccessful people both have goals. So goals can't be what differentiate winners from losers. If you're enjoying the content so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, to understand how to develop a plan that makes up a good video, you must first understand the three elements that make a good video. The first one is one I like to call connection or the message. The connection or message is slightly different from the goal or purpose of the video because it establishes how you're actually going to communicate what you want to communicate. You could also replace the word with story. And you might say, oh, well, my video doesn't need story. And I would say it absolutely does. Everything that you do should include a beginning, middle, and end. And if it doesn't have a beginning, middle, and end, then you're doing something wrong. The importance of the connection or message is the difference between poor orphan girl finding true love or the Cinderella story. Remember when I said be very specific about the goal and purpose of your video? That's because in the connection and message portion of how you establish or how you create your video, you're going to understand what's the best way to give this information or what's the best way to entertain now it's time to move along to the next step and the step where probably most people go wrong, information delivery. In this element, you're going to understand how to explain your connection or message. Think of it as the execution phase. And this is why I say a lot of people falter is because they have this grandioso idea. They want to have fireworks. They want to do this big grand fire show or they want to have stunts or they want to do this very extravagant fireworks and it falls flat on its face because they don't know how to do any of that. Now, I'm obviously being hyperbolic, but of course I'm being serious in the way that a lot of people don't know how to execute a video or make that video small enough so you can execute it. Here's a quick example. Let's say you have some new technology that you want to give to the world and you want to make a video about it. So in that video, you want to put a bunch of information and you want to be very specific about what you put in there and you wind up putting a bunch of text and voicing over the text. And it doesn't really communicate as well because it's not showing anybody anything and people are probably going to get uninterested. The information delivery phase is honestly probably the most important part. There is a lot of really, really good stories that have fallen flat because the execution of that story or the execution of that message was not portrayed correctly. And it's honestly pretty tragic because there have been some great messages, some great stories that just failed because there was no execution in place. What I would suggest is lowering your expectations. So if you want fireworks, you want stunts, you want visual effects, you want all of these things, how about just starting off by doing one of those things so you can execute on that same exact level. And remember, the story is the most important thing. If you can tell the story or deliver the message in the right way, you may not need all of those effects or fancy things that you want to include in the video. Now, the third Third and last element is the technical element. The technical element is honestly self-exclamatory. It's anything to do with any audio or visual elements. It could be anything as far as lighting or camera or visual effects or music or audio. Anything that when you hear we're having technical difficulties and it starts messing up, this will be in the technical
technical side. And all of these elements work together in tandem to make a really good video. It's almost like a business. Your connection would be your entrepreneur or owner. Your information delivery would be your manager and the technical aspects would be your technicians. And like I said before, they all work in tandem together to create a really good product. And if you don't have one, then the rest will falter. For example, if you don't have your technicians, but you have your messaging and your information delivery, then the video may not ever be shot. But on the other hand, if you don't have your information delivery, then the execution will be very, very poor. Or if you don't have your messaging at all, yeah, you have a video that's executed properly about what exactly? If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like and make sure you give me a subscribe. Now, moving on to the seven tips that you can use today to make a better video. If you don't take anything else away from me, please just have a purpose or goal behind your video. And I know I've said this already, but if you don't, then your video is just gonna fall flat and you're not gonna be able to control the narrative you have on your own video. Everything is story, beginning, middle, end. If it doesn't look like beginning, middle, end, you've done something wrong. You need to go back to the drawing board because you need to introduce, be very concise with your information, and then summarize it all up at the end. Understand where you want to distribute your content. Things that will be on the news will not do really well on TikTok and vice versa. Anything on TikTok may not do good on the news. So you need to understand before you start creating where you want to distribute your content. Keep it as concise as possible. And as you and I know, people have short attention spans. They will zone out or click off or go to something else that they don't feel that is interesting. And it goes for information as well. If it's not interesting to them, they'll just zone out. So make sure you keep it as concise as possible. Show, don't tell. This is an audio visual experience. So give them some visuals to look at to stimulate their brain. I know what I said in tip number five, but audio is everything. Audio separates the amateurs from the professionals. It boosts your production value by so much and it can set the tone it can set the mood and you can stimulate another sense in a person so use it wisely finally learn from your mistakes and the only way to learn from your mistakes is to fail trust me when you walk away from this video you're not going to make the godfather you're not going to make a super bowl commercial you're not going to make a video that gets a trillion views but if you do let me know but most likely you won't so you got to learn from your mistakes and the only way to learn from your mistakes is to to fail. So go out there and fail. If you keep in mind that videos are solely meant for communication and you understand the three elements that I've explained to you and you also incorporate the seven tips that I've given you, you will go from making bad videos to good videos to great videos to fantastic video. Don't forget to comment your favorite part of the video or if something inspired you. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And remember, keep harnessing the power of video.